Greetings everyone and welcome to this week's State of the Market update. So let's start off on looking at the outbound tender volume index for the U.S. As you can see, we have finally recovered from what I'm calling a holiday ravine. So over here you'll see Thanksgiving, of course, here's Labor Day, Fourth of July, and Memorial Day. Basically, after we have a holiday, there is this volume that comes. Let's zoom in just a little bit. So you'll see the volume that just it kind of declines just a little bit and then right up into the holiday you'll have this push of volume that kind of peaks out and then when the holiday comes in the following days uh, the volume drops off so a good judge of kind of where we are afterwards is where the volume index comes up to so now we've hit over the 10,000 mark here so that is a good sign of you know things are picking back up and as we looked at capacity related to the volume, it's almost like the capacity had a little bit of a chance to recover. I'll pull up the uh, national rejection rate for the U.S. And you can see here towards the end of October, uh, of course, we hit a low on rejections, and then it slowly started creeping up. And then the week or two before Thanksgiving, we maxed out above 15%, which is just essentially more trucks were getting off the road. Uh, shippers were trying to you know, get all their freight in that they possibly could. And after the holiday, though, it seemed like capacity was doing a better job of covering the volume that was coming out, even with the strong recovery. As you can see, for the last few days, we've been below the 13% mark. So this will be a good sign, um, kind of give us a little bit of a head start as we go into the next two or three weeks with Christmas and the end of the year coming up. So I've got a couple of maps that I wanted to show real quick. Some of the areas that are having a uh, <clears throat> more of a capacity crunch here, we've been looking at the Pacific Northwest lately, um, areas in Oregon, Idaho, uh, even Seattle, a lot of the regional moves are really having capacity. So you can see that our outbound tender reject index for the two-week change has spiked up in a lot of these markets in the Pacific Northwest. So this is an area that is starting to see signs of uh, capacity, whereas the, most, the rest of the country seems to be relatively stable um, at this time. This is something else we've been keeping an eye on. Here I've got the outbound tender volume index pulled up for the weekly change. And if you kind of zoom in on the East Coast, not all of these areas are highlighted in blue, but some of the notable areas, the Wilmington market, the Norfolk, Virginia, um, has had a big spike in volume all the way really from Elizabeth, New Jersey, Philly, and uh, even the Baltimore market here. You'll see... Um, compared to the rest of the country where the the volume is really spiking here so it could be port activity it's what we suspect because the savannah market is also seeing um, some signs it has gone up it's more stable than the rest of these markets as far as just this huge uh, spike in volume but it is still very high and we expect that to be high probably through the end of the year um, you know as imports are increasing towards uh, you know the tariff talks and everything else um, speaking of that here's a um, a chart for the market share in Ontario now this market looks different than a lot of our other markets as far as you can see really from um, the end of September how uh, we're making higher highs and higher lows and just towards towards the end here in quarter uh, the fourth quarter we're seeing the volumes of the market share just peak and this in Ontario went all the way up into the holiday but um, it has been coming back down which is actually good because we've been struggling in the uh, Port of Long Beach Los Angeles and the Ontario area to to find capacity I'm actually gonna throw the Atlanta market up here and you can see how much this is affected we did an article on this a couple couple of weeks ago so you can see how Atlanta is usually uh, the largest market as far as market share that we have but at the end of October Ontario actually had been going up and up and up so it has actually been making gains but whereas Atlanta has remained fairly stable 
Now, if you zoom in all the way on the right, you see in the last few days, um, since Ontario has been coming down a market share, uh, Atlanta has actually taken back the uh, first place in market share. So we'll be definitely keeping an eye on this, uh, this, this situation and other volumes as they occur. Um, that's all we have for today. Be sure to join us tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern for our in-depth webinar and bring your questions, any questions you might have.